even go. I am going up in, the, in front of everyone. It's all I know. I've, I've never experienced that. Jojo Siwa is someone I've interviewed and I met her a few times and something about Jojo that always really is fascinating to me is how she still appeals to this really young audience, right? She has like the bows and all the sparkles. Like you have this image, but you also like, how do you step into your womanhood and sexuality? She is 16. When I was 16, I was like, you know, sneaking out, going to parties, like starting to mess around with boys. Can she break out of that mold? Does she want to? Where is she at with that? I actually, I was really enlightened by what she had to say, so check it out. What do you feel most like a woman? When I'm on stage in front of an audience, I have so much control over what's going on, and I can just say anything and everyone goes over It's amazing. You have a young audience for your skin. Yes. Growing into your own. Yeah. There is challenges, but I don't want to waste time on them because they're not worth it and or it's almost all that I know. If that makes sense, I've, I've grown up in this world since I was nine years old. I've lived the last seven years of my life, almost half of my life, doing what I love. What are you looking forward to about being in your late teens, being in your late twenties, like stepping into your woman? A lot of people are like, oh, it's all that I'm scared. Yeah. No, I am excited about it. I'm honestly excited to see where I kind of go. Like, I'm excited for the adventure of like me transitioning. You know what I'm saying? Like, into the next phase. Yeah. Into the next chapter. Yeah, because I, well, I'm going into a blog. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be myself, but it's my life. So I, I think that it's like, it's really fun to see what happens. I mean, you have such a blog. Thank you. Such a blog. Yeah. What do you think life would be like without I think it would be different. I think that I would have became a surgeon. I could, yeah. Oh, I, think, I would I, not have expected that. Yeah, I was just in Nebraska. I would have gone to school. And I think I would become a surgeon. I do love medical things. I love, I love helping people, obviously. So many people don't know that.